Matt, I want to just read a quote from one of the things Ellison said at this conference yesterday yeah. that struck me because it didn't actually make sense to me. He says the reason why he wanted to go to JCPenney to take on a challenge. He yeah. says, I couldn't find a greater upside opportunity where the financial downturn had been specifically driven by poor strategic decisions, not a disruptive competitor, not a change right. in the economic landscape. That sounds to me like he is saying that the fundamentals of JCPenney are fine, and that is completely not my understanding. I thought department stores, you know, were on their deathbed, and I thought this let you know this sort of target of the American consumer wants 50% off, and nobody shop, nobody's buying this kind of stuff anymore. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> take it with a bit of a grain of salt, but he he's basically saying the Ron Johnson era. If you reverse a lot of that, if you fix what went wrong in the Ron Johnson era, it's still a really strong brand. Um, you know, they they claim they have 87 million customers currently, so. He, so Twenty-five percent of America shops. Right, at but but it's no secret that department stores have been struggling. You're right, and that's part of the reason why Ron Johnson got to J.C. Penney in the first place. They weren't showing a lot of growth. The activist investor came in, brought Ron Johnson in. Um, but Ellison has a great track record. He was at Home Depot for 12 years, oversaw their U.S. stores. That's 2,000 stores. That's, that's basically one of the biggest retailers by itself in the country. All right, so he's got Home Depot. Where else did he work? He worked at Target. Okay. Uh, so plenty of retail experience. He, he's, he's done all, all sorts of Operations, jobs. though. Operations. He's not a merchant. You know, that's, that's what's done below him. But his big thing is, his big thing, and what he did at Home Depot, is customer service. All right. And one of the things he wants to do is get rid of, simplify the jobs of the store employees and put store employees in front of the customer more often, more hours of the day, spend so more time doing that. That all sounds like super smart McKinsey jargon, but is this not history repeating itself? Guess what? Ron Johnson crushed it at Apple. Okay, Marvin Ellison crushed it at Home Depot. Just because you did well somewhere else doesn't mean you're going to kill it at JCPenney. Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely true. And, you know, and investors are basically, you know, the stock hasn't done much for a long time. I mean, it's, it's up a little bit since Johnson left, but not, not much. But and, and, and Ellison... He does have a proven track record, but yes, what happens basically starting in 2016 is really what's going to yeah. make or break this company. But isn't there a big difference between teaching someone how to use a circular saw versus what goes best with red? I mean, two different kinds of things. It, it, you it, talk it. about customer <laughs> service. <laughs> That's definitely true. Home Depot stores are obviously much yeah. bigger. It's a, quote, depot. It's a warehouse. Um, but, you know, that's... It, it, might, it might seem like, you know, McKenzie talk, but that's, that's, that's one of the things that he did at Home Depot that really turned around that company. Yeah. I think you and I should do a store check. I'd like us to go to a JCPenney. <laughs> I don't even know where there is one near New York City. Oh, uh, and we'll see if I can go shopping. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, we'll see if I can go shopping for this show. I would like okay. that.